From our Georgia Capitol newsroom now, what's the final home stretch of the 2023 legislative session in Atlanta as lawmakers scramble to get bills pushed across the finish line? One bill, House Bill 189, that's moved back and forth between the House and Senate, is a truck weight limit bill. Atlanta Bureau Chief Archis Shashandri reports from our Georgia Capitol newsroom. A new proposal under the Gold Dome in Atlanta could increase the cargo weight limit on trucks by 10% to 88,000 pounds. It would give an opportunity for those trucks to carry at a higher weight, at agricultural products only. Advocates say this would help farmers transport goods more frequently and efficiently, especially with a shortage with truck drivers. The advantage is lowering the cost. Small businesses that are running some of our trucking companies, um, lowering the cost, lowering the number of trucks they may have to have because they can increase the amount of product on one truck. The benefit is um, lowering the number of employees they must have because one truck driver can have more product. Critics argue that increased weight limits for trucks could damage roads and bridges, increase accidents, and cost taxpayers more money to fix worn out roads. We know that electric vehicles weigh more than gas vehicles. We know that in the coming decades, electric big rigs and semi trucks, example, are going to be driving with increased frequency on our roads. So we're trying to get our roads ready for that. It gives the state time to figure out how we're going to give these increased funding both to the State Department of Transportation and to the cities and counties to make sure that they can keep up with the roads and bridges that we currently have so that we can be prepared for what we know is going to be on our roads in the coming decades. Can it lower the cost of food in uh, Georgia for people? Quite possibly it can because the product is being shipped at a, at a more reasonable cost. State lawmakers have until Wednesday to draft the final changes to House Bill 189. Archit Sashadri, WSAV News 3 on your side. House Bill 189 originated in the House and made it through the Senate with changes, so now it goes back to the House. State lawmakers have a work study committee meeting Tuesday and will wrap up the 2023 legislative budget on Wednesday for the final day of the 40-day session.